folks, welcome aboard the channel. I'm Don, this is Rockin' a Country. If you're new here, think about hitting the subscriber button. That helps a lot. It helps keep the traditional sense moving along. It shows that traditional or non-pop country music is still on the move. Put it that way. Julie Roberts, breakdown here. Mike Savage requested it, so Mike, shout out to you. I've done one or two of Julie's songs before, though. Maybe one, but I don't remember what it is. And of course, anytime I see the name Julie Roberts, I think of Julia Roberts. But this Julie is very different. Here we go. It's a reaction. Oh, it's a video. I hope it's not blocked. Got gorgeous eyes. There's something smoking underneath the hood. It's a banging and a clanging, and it can't be good. And it's another 50 miles to the nearest town. Uh -oh. Everything I own's in the back, and I have to back. I'm out of cigarettes, and I'm down. So is the dude that shows up in the passenger seat every so often just her memory of him? Yeah, it's tough, man, when you move on. I did like the way the lyricist worked that word, rhymed the word here with mirror. That was good. Uh-oh, she broke down. A hundred fifty thousand miles ago Before the bad blood and busted radio Said I was all you'd ever need. But love is blind, and little did I know you were just another dead in a road, paved with pretty lies and broken dreams. Yeah. Baby, leaving you. Leaving you is easier than being gone. I wonder, I wonder if she develops the being gone part, or if it's just to be assumed that it was easier to be gone, I mean, easier to leave than the results of having left. I don't know what I'll do if one more thing goes wrong. There you go. I sure hate to break down. There you go. Impressive. Oh, 
escape velocity. Ooh, there's significance to that. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. <laughs> she broke down. At Ma Did she break down in mile marker 215? There's some significance to 215, though, that I bet the songwriter had in his or her own life. I don't know if that was Julie who wrote the song, but whoever wrote the song, that mile marker 215 was a shot across the bow of somebody that they had in a relationship. I'm just guessing, because you those ideas got to come from somewhere. And, and frequently they come from real life. Not always, of course, but because the human mind is imaginative, creative. But being able to get leave a relationship, that's tough. It, uh, as we know, it's hard, depending on how much your heart was invested in it, how long it lasted, all that stuff. I refer to it as escape velocity. Like I know when I went through my divorce and stuff, I was talking with my buddy who's a pilot. He's down in Kentucky, but he flies all over the world. And um, I analogized getting out of the relationship because we've all had breakups. But escape velocity refers to the speed at which, or the velocity really, at which, which includes direction, the speed at which the spaceship can get escape Earth's gravitational pull. And if it isn't going, if it doesn't reach escape velocity, which I think is 17,500 miles an hour, it will not be able to escape the pull of Earth's gravity. So it has to be going fast enough to get through it. And I analogize that in relationships where do you have the emotional capacity to escape the pullback of the relationship? And he or she did. She made it past that when she said there's no going back, that was the official point. Her car, she just couldn't go back. She didn't have the funds. Her car was on empty. I think it eventually broke down in the rain, but she didn't, she wasn't crying about it, but she made it beyond that, that point beyond which there was no return. Yeah, Mike, that was a good request. I like her voice too. There's something compelling about it. And the way she sang it, there was a, there was a very good performance on her behalf. The fluidity, you know, the, the production of it was good too. Not referring to the video, referring to the, the producer of the audio on this thing, because the way in the studio this was recorded, there was a movement, there was a symbiosis between the instrumentation and the way Julie sang it. And that's a testament to Julie, but it's also a testament to the producer. So, all right, I'm going to rate this. I like that. Uh, I didn't send steel in there. They used piano, which may have been more of a nod to get it on maybe a crossover hit possibly i'm not sure but you know instruments are chosen for specific reasons not uncommonly commercial reasons but this was just a good song i'm coming i liked it i liked what she had to say i liked i mean she's beautiful so i mean that that helps but i'm coming in with a 9.0 i like the song i like what she said that vignette that sliver of life bang and she made it through and it is very hard, very hard, but she had good reasons for doing it, I'm sure. Her reasons, anyway. All right, folks, there you go. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.